Oh, hey, good morning again. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the... Well, no. I guess I'm being an April Fool, ain't I? Now it's the second. A lot of good April Fool's jokes out there, but a lot more really horrible ones. Another thousand pregnancies on my timeline, so many people getting married. You'd think that joke would get old, and hell it does, but most people keep pushing it through anyway, don't they? Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something called You're Worth Something. Your time is worth something. You know, there's so many of my friends out there who are artists, musicians, cosplayers, writers, so on and so forth. The list can just keep going and growing. So I'm not going to keep rattling those things off, but just all too often, and myself included, I see people getting kind of taken advantage of, or at least people trying to take advantage of. So it's important to know how much you're worth. How much is your time worth? And you got to look at things like trade-offs too, you know? If someone offers you a, a small trinket of appreciation for your time, is it worth it to go spend $20 on a 50 cent piece of thing you're going to get back in return? Probably not. And don't get me wrong, volunteering and charity are two different things from this. But sometimes people mask those things as charity. Don't let that fool you, okay? The biggest thing people try to do is try to kind of con you a little bit, don't they? Yeah. They say, well, I can't pay you. It's like, you ever see Popeye? Show Pop how with Sailor, you know, when he eats the spinach. There's a guy on there named Wimpy. And he would always come around and tell people he'd gladly pay him Tuesday for a hamburger today. And that's kind of like exposure dollars, as we like to call them. You know, people don't want to pay you cash, or maybe they'll pay you down the road somehow. And they offer you, well, if you give me this piece of material, or this painting, or, or this writing, or do this for my website, I'm going to pay you back and exposure. I'll, I'll write it on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or what have you. And man, I tell you, when I hear that, only one thing comes to mind. I just want to come over here to my oldest thinner. Just clean that brush off a little bit and I just want to, I want to come over here to my dice and I just want to beat the exposure dollars right out of them because they're trying to take advantage of me. Boy, I tell you, that makes me about as red as this oldest thinner here that I've done converted over to colors. You gotta watch that, because people try to take advantage of it at any given turn. And I tell you, your time is worth money. A lot of us end up working for less than minimum wage, and that's not very cool, is it? Some people spend hours and hours working on stuff, or like I said before, if I spend $20 worth of gas getting somewhere and four or five hours of my time, and somebody says, well here, here's $5 worth of something, thanks for you. Not a very good trade-off, is it? So we need to keep those things in mind, and it's okay to, to research things and, and look at where money's going. And like I said, you know, sometimes people try to disguise things as charity and go, well, this is going to really benefit this charity, but you got to look at who's having you come out. Who's getting the exposure from you doing that charity work? Really think about these things before you start putting your feet to the pavement and driving out to things, all right? It's just not a very good trade-off. Yeah, sometimes we will do things for others. Sometimes we like to trade, and that's okay too. Make sure that trade's worth something. You know, if I do like a 3D print or something, those things cost me money, cost me filament. I spend hours printing these things. That's electricity's getting cost, plus wear and tear on my machine, plus time that I invested. Those are just small little examples of things that people don't always think about. You know, for our artists, people that even, you know, do things like crocheting. That's wear and tear on them. They've got different equipment they've got their yarn they've got shipping costs they've got research they've got to do you need to pay them for what they're worth okay so when someone tells you a price don't look at them and go i can find someone who can do it te cheaper because guess what i'm gonna tell you to go to find somebody that can do it cheaper i think i've rambled enough i think you get the point know yourself know your worth don't be taken advantage of i'm gonna go ahead and sign this now i think it's important though so make sure you know that your time is worth money. Until next time, it's your boy OG Bobby Ross. My time's worth money. I'll see you when I see you.